Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 35. And in this tutorial, we are finally going to start learning how to create our own functions in PHP. So over the past few tutorials, you guys have already seen and hopefully you've already used some of the built-in functions in PHP, uh, which I showed you guys. And now it's time to finally start learning how to create our own functions. Okay, so why are functions useful and what do functions allow us to do? Well, a function allows us to reuse code whenever we like. So that means we don't have to repeat the same block of code. Uh, like we don't have to copy paste code and put it all over the place. We can just write it all once in a function and call that function whenever we need it. Okay, this means that our code will be shorter and ultimately it will keep our code looking a lot more tidy. So let's take a look at the syntax for creating a function in PHP and it's actually quite simple. Okay, all you have to do is type in the keyword function which tells PHP, okay, listen up, we are about to make a function over here. This is going to be a function that we uh, want to make as the programmer. Okay, then you'll put in the function name. So you can name this function anything you like. Um, just for display purposes, though, I'm just going to type function underscore name. And then we're going to put in two parentheses. And like I told you guys in the past, whenever you're working with a function, the part or the little bit that goes in between these two parentheses is called an argument. And sometimes there are a few, so sometimes it's arguments, not argument. And then we're going to put in these two curly braces. And basically inside of these curly braces, this is where our statements will go. So basically the code that you would like your function to execute when it gets called will be over here in the statements. Uh, then we also have a return value which we'll learn about uh, later on. And not all functions need to use them but sometimes they are useful to have so uh, we can use a return value just keep that in mind. Okay, so now we've take, taken a look at the syntax for how to use a function. Uh, let's actually use one. Let's actually make a function that does something. So I'm going to make a very simple function and I'm just going to call it display. And the function that I'm going to use or make is not going to use any arguments. So we'll just leave our parentheses blank for now. And as a statement, all I'm going to do is make this function echo something out. So it's just going to display something in the browser. Okay, so let's just make it echo out. I was displayed by a function. And of course, I'm not even going to use a return value because we're just trying to create a really simple function. So now when I go ahead and save this and go back to Firefox and click refresh, nothing's happening. So why is this? Well, this is because whenever we write code inside a function, the code in our function is not automatically executed when our browser runs or when the browser loads. So that makes a function different to code that is just outside of a function, uh, which is stuff that we have been working with in the past, okay? So a function will only execute when you actually call the function. And that is obviously very useful because we can have this function here and then call it maybe 10 times below this uh, declaration. So let's go ahead and learn how to declare a function. So I'm just going to go ahead and say display. And uh, that's basically all we need to do is just write in the function name, which I'm getting from here, obviously. And then just put in empty parentheses because we do need those 
even though we aren't using any arguments. And now when we save this and run this, we should get hours displayed by a function printed out. So congratulations, you've just created your first function in PHP and obviously we will be making some more useful functions in the next couple of videos but for now that's all I'm going to show you guys so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment a like or share the video it's really gonna help my channel grow and I will see you guys next time